This book kinda thick. This is the next book in the Keeper of the Lost Cities series, Lodestar by Shannon Messenger. I really, really, really love this book series because of its constant magical battles and all the cool new powers that are kept revealed. And look, just look at this scene, man. This is, this is Tom, one of the main characters. That's Sophie Foster, one, also one of the main characters. Pretty sure that's Fitz. Fitz. And, and this, is, this is a cool battle scene that happens later in the book. So let's first get into the summary. So basically, right now, Keith is being an idiot, and he is currently within the never seen. And basically, what that, what that means is that he is currently being a spy for the never seen. And in order to prove his loyalty, he breaks into Foxfire, breaks a couple things, makes sure everyone is safe, though, and tries to prove his loyalty to the never seen. And so he's basically being a big, bad person, I guess. And, and he's giving Sophie a lot of trauma. And all the other people around him are like, oh, okay, so all talking about matchmaking and getting getting girlfriend and boyfriend and all that. Because you see, ma elves, they live so long that they don't want to, you know, marry their really far cousins or something. So matchmaking is kind of like, there's a job called matchmaking where they take your genetics and your powers and, and your personality and your preferences and everything. And that kind of thing, they combine all of that and they give you a list of people that you might want to marry. Which is kind of weird and kind of cool at the same time. And basically, yeah, they just they, they just give you give you give you a list of people you want to marry, and everyone around her is talking about it because they're about to get to the age where they can't apply for that stuff, and they're starting to get into it. And meanwhile, they when they look into Prentice's memories, Prentice has been rescued in the last book. Sophie looks into Prentice's memory and sees this mysterious symbol, like a compass, and she calls it the Lodestar. And we don't know what the frick is that is and so we want to try to find out what it is and meanwhile within Keith's memories we find something called a memory where Keith's blood is used to open a dark door and they say this is called nightfall whatever that is Jesus Christ I mean you couldn't have a more like dark and scary and like dangerous name in general could you and basically it's just it's just like oh we we do not we do not trust that at all. What, why do they need Keith's blood? Like, we gotta keep keep my boy safe, man. And and yeah, it's, it's not a very, very good situation. We're just getting more questions rather than answers. And meanwhile, we're starting to, we're starting to realize that perhaps, um, uh, Apprentice's mother, um, might have been murdered as well and disturbed while light leaping. And this is because she apparently make these, make these things called star stones, which can be used to light leap to specific places, which is something that Lady Giesella, Keith's mom, used in order to sort of teleport to these, or not teleport, that's a different ability, light leap to these different places, because, you know, these homing crystals are a little too obvious if she wants to keep them hidden, therefore she wanted something that is only accessible to her, and she didn't want to make a light leaping point, therefore she got the star leap. The star stones or whatever it is and basically these are like old light leapers except they can only go to one place and yeah but however this is exactly what she needed and she had a couple of them and only Prentice's wife could make them and so she she made Prentice's wife make them and then killed her off cool 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 and while Sophie and Sophie's trying to find out what all this stuff is and she's away Grady Edlin and also um, also, I think Lady Cadence is attacked by orgs. What the heck, guys? What? Well, what's up with the security? A couple goblins died. All uh, members of the security died, and Sophie is extremely traumatized. And they realize that they attacked Lady Cadence, the friend of the orgs. And they realize that King Demeter is, in fact, not with the Never Seen currently. And this group of orgs that attacked is a group of a band group of rebels, which is just not not good. Not good. It's not a good situation. And it's just, it's just great. It's just great. And Sophie is given her newest set of abilities, which is called Enhancing, basically. It's pretty self-explanatory. Anything she touches with her fingertips, or anyone, their abilities are fully enhanced. And this is kind of an OP ability. However, she must keep it hidden because, you know, the, the their enemies could, like, you know, chain her to a chair or something and just have her hand out and just boost themselves and that would be kind of terrible 
and she doesn't really want that. So, in other words, we, we just want to keep that ability a secret, and that is why she's wearing gloves in this, in this cover picture. Okay. Moving on. And then... And then they, they, they enhance each other's abilities and they're trying to fight out. And they're also, and also the, a bunch of these guys, I mean, you remember how, and also, at the start of the book, Willy was attacked because of the, oh, wait, where did they put the star stones, um, that, that, uh, that Willy's mom kind of made? I said Prentice's mom, didn't I? I'm such an idiot. Prentice's wife, sorry. And basically, um, they attacked him, however, he was within Foxfire, and Foxfire is supposed to be this super secure place that no one can get into, so how did they get in? So they tried to find how they got in, and after going through everything, they find a mirror opposite of the Lodestar mirror, where there's a mirror that can absorb darkness and magnify darkness, which allows them to sort of change the density of the glass, I don't really get it, and they step into the glass secret room and there's this cool circle thing called the Lodestar and they realize that the Lodestar is a teleportation device basically that connects to all of the never seen households. And while messing around with the Lodestar that they found, they accidentally teleport themselves to the never seen. Which is honestly not not good, not good. And they they're currently facing off against Alvar, Keith Keith's on our side though, and uh Brant and also Roy. Roy is a Pisneopath. I have no idea if I pronounced that right, sorry. Keeper of the Lost Cities fans. And basically he can use this, he can make force fields. That's simple, simple, simple. And, and Brandt is the nuts crazy guy that has a fiery, has fire, and he, he's pyrokinetic, he control fire. And I think we remember Alvar, who is a banisher, and Keith is Keith. It's pretty simple, and they and they have a good little showdown. That's actually the scene in the book where Sophie, Tam, and my boy Fitz they've got a teleported to the us uh, one of their hideouts, and they're fighting the never seen members. And they fight, they fight, they fight. They have a battle, and they manage to win actually. And they manage to capture Roy and. Brand, which is really good, and Keith takes back Alvar because she he wants to try to sort of get the trust of never seen. And meanwhile, the peace summit is about to happen within the greatest castle of the of the elves. And at the castle, they think, okay, this castle is pretty invincible, and everyone everyone is chilling, and everyone's everyone's like trying to get their stuff. And Dimitar, King Dimitar of the Orcs, simply wants to like stay away from the rest of the nations, and it's all it's all all sort of happening. And then Fintan of the freaking never seen comes up and he goes, yo, let me in. I want to join the priest semi too. We don't trust him like at all, like at all. And he goes in and she goes in and he, he sits there and he goes, okay, yo, what's up guys? And he winks, winks and does the Fintan thing and tries to make them all fight each other and it's great. And then we realize, oh, wait, 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 wait. You know, you remember at the start of the book when all of the, all of the Aislium, what, Exilium? No, Exilium camps are sort of being set around the entire city, all of the lost cities, so that people can learn self-defense using their natural given abilities, such as, like, levitation, um, uh, temperature control, and one of them is called outward breaking, which is sort of like mentally pressuring on something and making it break. Wait a minute, the prisoners that are in the castle that the peace summit is happening in, Brant, Alvar, and not Brant, not Alvar, Brant, Roy, and our dear friend who is named Gethin, who's been trapped there forever, they're down there, their abilities are locked up, but their force thing, natural ability, a natural thing that can elves can all do. That's not locked up at all. Yeah, so we, we kinda got screwed. They rumbled down the entire freaking castle and um, and Forkel dies within within the carnage, within the fight. However they managed to take they managed to kill Brant. However Forkel dies. Rip. Forkel Man, we we needed him. He was he was such a good person. 
he was honestly like the Obi Wan Kenobi of the entire series, or Dumbledore of the entire series, and and we just I did not realize that this would happen, and I was I was really sad. I didn't expect Forkle to die because no one's really died in this series so far. It is like a friendly, friendly Harry Potter style thing. Although of course, literally everyone dies at the end of Harry Potter. A lot of people do. A lot of our loving, lovely characters do, like Lupin. However, I, I feel like that happened a little early, because this isn't the finale, so... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I hope Forkle somehow comes back, resurrects or something. That would be pretty cool. And that is pretty much the book, with a bunch of shock. So something that I really, really want to emphasize is nothing in this book is there just for the sake of it, I guess. Every single part connects the plot. Like, for example, the part where the XLM coaches tell Sophie, oh, um, you're, you're really talented at, like, making things, like, exploding things and making things break and using, using, uh, telekinesis. And, um, yeah, you, if you concentrate enough, you could probably bring an entire mountain down. Cough, cough, foreshadowing, because that's exactly pretty much what Gethin and the the prisoners do within within the castle they break down the entire castle using their natural abilities and they've been training to do that forever and it's kind of it's kind of really cool it's it's just oh by the way Keith escapes and takes the caches and leaves that ever seen at the end of the book right away but that's that's not the biggest point here what I'm trying to say is all those little details little little facts or little little remarks that happens within the book all you think when when that comes out is oh okay okay cool that's that's a cool little bit of information that we're not gonna le need later right 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 okay yeah we do and all that information comes to play at the end of the book and i think that's why shannon messenger's twists are so great because like you should be able to see it being coming by now because what she literally does is a little random fact that the first half of the book comes to play the last half of the book. That's the basic thing that she does. However, you can never see it coming. I mean, Sophie, too, is trying to go like, oh my gosh, okay, so I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. What is the never seen going to do this time? How are they going to screw us over this time? And they're thinking, 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 and they're trying to counter the never seen. However, it never works. However, then they realize, oh crap, that, that little sentence that happened like 16 chapters ago is actually important. Yeah, I know, Keeper of the Lost Cities. Typical Shannon Messenger, she wants to kill us all with a heart attack. And anyways, with all of those things, that use of detail, it connects to the plot itself. I admire that as a writer because I myself is more gravitated toward plot as a writer. And I think it's really, really cool. And all the magic stuff is cool as well because magic is cool. And it's a very good book. And like always, your plot quester and the plot quest are very, very good book. Highly recommend the entire series. It's like a perfect combination of um that thing and also like where is that thing? Yeah, that thing. All of these things. You know, Harry Potter and Mortals Quartet, a little bit of combination. And we got the like kind of superpower vibe. You learning to use superpower vibe of like I don't know, the Avengers or something of some 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 or my hero academia if we're talking about an anime. And we got this that kinda all kinds of cool things kinda combined into one big series and I think it's great. Have a wonderful day. Good bye. Oh I should probably show the colors. Bye.